my lovelies. Um, today is going to be finally a tutorial that I've promised I'd do for weeks now, um, which is making painted papers. And uh, these are the only two that I have left, so it's time that I make some more. <laughs> Um, and if any any of you have uh, done swaps with me, I, I've uh, included a couple art cards, decorated art cards, using uh, my painted papers. Um, so the kind of stuff that you will need, uh, paintbrush, paint, whatever paint you have. If you have uh, dilution sprays, those can be cool. Um, uh, glitter gel painty stuff is always fun. Um, stamps if you want, stencils if you want, um, oh, and if you are stenciling, um, either a, a, a brush or I, I like stenciling with a little makeup sponge. Um, I uh, really like using a really flexible um, painter's knife or palette knife, which is really dirty and full of glue. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, you can use old gift cards. Um, I like mine being really bendy, so I don't know, I have these old, really old, they're from like, this one's from 2008, 2003, bus, bus, <laughs> bus passes, um, and even if you don't, you could probably, um, I don't know how long it would last, but, um, a business card, so we'll give them all a go for the sake of science, mad science. Um, so yeah, um, oh, and you, you will need the junk, and, um, I've tried different things, like this is, uh, the back, probably from a pack of stickers or something, um, it seemed to have worked pretty good, I'm not sure what this is, but I, I don't know, I guess I zoom up, um, I don't like the warning label part so much, but I like that you can kind of see words through it. Uh, which adds a bit more texture. This one, there's none of that, but there's several layers of paint, and that's how I get this effect. Oh yeah, and another thing you will need is a place to put spare paint. So I got my spare paint book that I'm working on. There's still lots of empty pages, so... Um, I just made a junk journal, and I hadn't used it, so it's... Uh, whenever I have ex excess paint, or want to clean off a stencil or a stamp, um, I do it in here. So it's just a, a junk journal that I made a cardboard cover, a cardboard cover for, and uh, put um, programs in that I glued pages together, which I guess I didn't need to do. It was one of my early, early, early um, junk journals. So I'll have that handy. Um, you can just wipe the paint off on uh, another paper. So what works and what doesn't? Um, I haven't tried it on magazine paper. Um, oh, yeah. Another thing that might be handy is a sanding block or some sanding paper. Um, so I got packaging. And this side is uh, glossy and this side's plain paper. Um, sometimes I find when you paint on the glossy, the paint will chip off. So you can rough it up with a sanding block of sandpaper. That's still very... Yeah, that is the rough side. So, distress it. So, that's one thing. Um, so, back some sticker paper. So this is just printer paper. We'll give that a go. Um, I love this We've all seen them, these guys, in magazines, because they're heavier weight, but they're very textured porous paper, so these are my favorite things to paint on. So I've stockpiled a bunch of those, and I've got some cardstock, which is matte on one side, glossy on the other, lots of that, and some book pages, and just a piece of cardboard, which is probably from a notepad. So, lots of victims. So, I guess I'll start with a book page, since I've been getting many books to make journals with. Ah, another handy thing would be a heat gun or a blow dryer to speed things up, and uh, some cloth and 
just a thing of water. Which is gnarly. Right. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so what I like to do is I start with, I don't know, two or three colors. Uh, usually I like to put really bright colors. Is this the good paint? Um, that's the good paint. Well, it doesn't really matter. Because I have some old, 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 old ancient paint that I've had for like over a decade and it's gotten gloppy. Which I use, uh, I don't know, for painting stuff. So I hope it's going to be hard to see. So I just deposit drops randomly on the page. Yeah, this is definitely the gloppy one. So let's see how it does. <laughs> it's got paint snot. Okay. And I, I try to pick colors that, you know, would be nice together to avoid making mud. So already we can see I've got way too much paint on here, but that's okay. So I get my little paint book ready. Don't really need a paintbrush, but it could be handy. So, what I do is I just kind of... I just took some off because I know I've got way too much paint. I just drag the knife around. <laughs> I put way too much paint. Drag it around. I don't really care if I cover everything because it'll be more than one uh, one layer. So I do one layer, really thin. So just to show you a difference where I dragged and cleaned it off versus just tracking it around. And you can play with the effects. On of, of, of that. So I do that and then I hit it with the dryer. So I'll, I'll, I'll hit it with the dryer. You guys don't need to hear that and then I'll come back. Alrighty. So it's, well, there, no, there's, it's, it, you want it mostly dry. There's a little wet spot there but it doesn't matter. But the rest of it's dry because when you add the next layer of colors you don't want them mixing and making mud. So I guess I'm going to do, hmm, I'm green and I guess a light blue and you can use really contra contrasting colors at this point because they're not going to mix I'm making a mess I always make a mess <laughs> Dawn has the perfect uh, YouTube channel name. Uh, let's make a mess today because it's so true. And uh, I'll, I'll put a link to her channel down below. She's a really cool gal. And uh, uh, it's more freestyle like like me and Chad and Green and her. We, we just roll with it. So. repeat the process and depending on how much you scrape how hard you scrape uh, how much of each color will be shown through I find where this you put the paint and it sits for a few minutes it kind of stains the paper there I'm just gonna steal some paint back because I don't like that bright hole all right, so there's a layer two. I'm gonna hit that with the dryer. Okay, now if you want to, let's see if I can find a nice pretty one. Oh, so use my pinky one. You can hit it with a dilution spray. So this is just a handmade one. Um, I did a little kind of not really a tutorial because I didn't know what I was doing. It was more like a DIY hacky thing, which uh, I'm going to start a series called For Mad Science, where I test these out. Um, so yeah, this one's acrylic ink. 
um, is it? loose eyeshadow and uh, a touch of Mod Podge. I said it right. Oops, I'm making a mess. Okay, whoa, that made it super bright. Awesome. <laughs> I haven't done these yet with the sprays because they're relatively new. So I'm going to hit it with the dryer again. I kind of like how it's pooling. I don't know how well you can see, but because it was really juicy and it puddled and the blow dryer pushed the, um, the, the, the shimmer spray around, you get these like tracks and blobs and adds to the texture and I don't know if you can t see it's got like a nice subtle faint shimmer love it you can leave it as is if you wanted oh where's my palette or switch page oh yes find Find a pattern. Find a pattern. Find a pattern. I'm just gonna do dots like I did on the other one because I really like it as it is. Um, so if it's dark, I recommend going with a light color for the stenciling. If it's light, I recommend going with um, You know, if it's light, go dark. If it's dark, go light. So that way it'll show up better. I like to mix two or three colors together. Um, so I'm just putting a few just dots, really. And I'll show you my technique for, for stenciling. It's a, been a trial and error thing, and I found a method that works pretty good. So I got blue, and I'm just going to to like kind of make an accent -y thing. So I put three drops together and where did it go? I had a makeup sponge. Where's my makeup sponge? It is all the way over here. Okay, so I've used this one already and uh, the, the paint has dried out and gotten crusty. So I usually just snip that off and I can use one of these suckers for like four or five you know, turns. So, I dab it once on it and collect paint and then I dab it to get the excess off because you don't want butt tons of it and I'll, I'll use that all up. So I put the stencil Ooh, that looks pretty. Sometimes I blend the colors up a lot, sometimes I don't. You could stencil like cleanly the whole page. You could just do random stenciling like I am. It just kind of like, it, the, the aim of all this is just to build layers and layers of like, text, I guess texture works of colors and uh, kind of makes like a cool page. And the cool thing, because we did the shimmer first, um, these dots that I'm painting on won't be shimmery, so that'll also be some difference. And I kind of like it like that. And you could go and just sponge too. You could dry this and do stamping. Um, I'll do maybe another one of stamping. I got a big music note stamp. Or if it was you're painting on plane and you wanted some text, you could stamp first with a waterproof or a water. Um, steady uh, ink and let it dry and then do this because you know we got text. So there's uh, the first painted paper. Kind of groovy. I really like doing this. They're so much fun. Okay. Where did all my paper go? <laughs> I cleaned my desk and then I started a project and it's mess again. Not only that, I can't find all my materials. I had like a huge stack. There they are. <laughs> A huge stack of paper. <laughs> Alrighty. So I saw like, this one's kind of fun because it's got a mountain, but I, I'm going to do one, here we go, with a lot of color to show you. And yeah, you can do both sides. Sometimes uh, if I'm doing like artist cards, I'll just put some nice tea stain paper on the back or um, like plain paper or stain 
paper or whatever, a nice paper on the back so that it could be journaled on. That makes sense. All right, so I did hot colors first. I'm gonna do cold colors now. Oh, I know. I like mixing purple and turquoise. Yeah, I had a few backpacker hiking magazines. I'm an avid camper outdoors person. All right, so same process all over again. I'm gonna, whoops. See, I, I really like the effect of this. Let's see. I need more, I need a bigger desk. And I really like mixing this turquoise and purple together. And you can, you know, move, use the excess too on your paper. I just find I like the, the separation of colors a whole lot. Cool. Like that. I find doing this will often make the pages curl. You can just roll with it. Um, if they get too bad, I like stick them under a book or I blast them with the heat gun. Sometimes it helps. All right. Now what? I think dark green maybe. Where's my crazy orange? This is where you can use a lot of color theory too. This is Pure Pumpkin Deco Art. Um, I'm in Canada. Oh, that's a lot of paint. I'm in Canada. I don't know what um, paints will be available for you guys wherever you are in the world. Just, just grab your favorite colors. I find I'm happiest painting with colors that I enjoy. All right. a whole lot better than this. The orange is a little bit muddy. Oh, I can fancy it up after. Alrighty, where's my palette? Um, I'm just going to go with the same colors I chose last time, but I think I'm going to try to find a really funky pattern. Well, cooperate. I hope you can see. Try to. This is. Ah, oh, it's missing one. Aha, uh -huh. a piece fell out of my stencil. Oh well. I'm wondering why it wasn't matching up. Sorry, my hand is in the way. So I'm gonna glob plant on here. like so. And I'm just gonna do the kind of it gives it like a softer look just blotting with a nearly dry sponge. Now I have some pretty funky sparkly doodaddies that I got at a thrift store. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this purple one with like the really I don't know how fast this is going to dry. This, this is pretty cool. It comes with its own uh, like 
brush. I guess this is going to be more like a glue than my gel ones. I don't know how fast they're going to dry. Let's see if the heat gun makes short work of it or not. Ugh, I really like this. Woohoo! There is a party on my paper and everybody's invited. So yeah, pardon like the stoop. I'm full of corny jokes today. I am really exhausted. I only had a four hour nap. <laughs> um, the reason why things have slowed down on the channel is um, oh, last week I got called in, kind of a la emergency, to work full time all month at the paper mill because they're, they're doing some major construction and some building materials were stolen at night. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Stupid to say, but yeah, they cut the night shift last year and because uh, I didn't want to pay a full-time guard anymore, so I had my hours cut from 30, 24 to 36 down to 8. Not cool. Um, I, I kind of want to work 24. It's like the good uh, balance between keeping my health in check and... Um, and uh, well, maybe I'll put some of this on too. Keeping my health in check and... Uh, ooh, this one's really gloppy. And... Uh, having enough, you know, money to pay bills. Uh, so yeah, I've been work. I worked full time last week. I worked two and like, it's like twelve hour shifts. Uh, sitting in a truck, <laughs> staring at building supplies with the occasional round. Check along the fence and the perimeter and stuff. So I've been doing that, and I'll be doing that until the end of the month. So I'm pretty exhausted. I'll still try to get out quick videos, maybe. Um, I, I'm going to commit to this one next week. Uh, will be the next um, scavenger hunt challenge, the crazy train scavenger hunt challenge. I'll put a link down to that playlist for you guys. Um, so I'll do that. It might be the only video I get out next week. Depends how I feel. Um, so yeah, I only slept for four hours. I was up. I got up. I woke up at 1 p.m. yesterday. Started work at 6:30 p.m. Got home at 7:30, and I just I stayed up for a bit because. I've been sleeping and working, sleeping and working, um, and then I snapped from 11.30 until 4. <laughs> That's a five hour nap. Um, and then I've been up just spending time with my boyfriend and doing, you know, things together because I don't see him when I'm working nights. So yeah, I'm going to hit this with the, uh, the, uh, okay, this stuff is definitely taking longer to dry. It's almost there. It is super shiny. Holy crap. Shinier than um, my, uh, I can't find anything. Shinier than this stuff. So that's super cool. I don't know what it is. The orange caps kind of makes me want to say Crayola something or other. Although there's absolutely no branding on it. And then these ones are closer to my gel ones. Caution. Attention. Irritant. Right. So, but these are super fun. And yeah, there's like little stars and moons and like confetti. I, I really like it. So if you wanted, you could paint the back side or not, as you wish. Depends what you want to use it for. Alright, two down. I hope you're not bored yet. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Um, I, I, I'm so busy. I'm still working on the, the wedding. I made a lot of headway. And uh, yeah, this working full time is like delaying everything. It's really annoying me. Um, before I got hired full time. Let's see what else is there. Let me do this. <clears throat> I don't know. That? Well, that should all be in frame. Um, before I got hired full time, I accepted to do a little tiny mini fair, but it's not just selling goods. It's more like kind of like a fair quasi workshop so I'll be showing people an abbreviated way on how I make my books um, it's for a pagan fair so the, the angle is is really a book of shadows um, what colors have I not done yet I'm gonna do greens on the bottom you can do three colors so I'm gonna get to put much less <laughs> um, so I'll be doing that uh, but I have like I sold two journals on Etsy and a planner uh, so I'm going to be um, reworking my Etsy shop to make sense for photography and uh, 
um, journals and planners. So I'm thinking of renaming it something along the lines of like, to work memories in or recollections, something like that. Um, oh, it doesn't cover very well over the black at all. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Um, and I really want to be working on journals. I don't want to be working at the full time. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to be an adult. <laughs> Can't craft all the time. Um, but yeah, I want to be making more journals. Um, clearly I've been selling the wrong thing on Etsy. Like, I post three planners and four journals. I sold two journals and one planner, and they, like, within the first 24 hours were the things that were getting the most hits in my shop, despite photographs that have been there for two or three years. Oh, so I'll be doing that. <laughs> Um, I booked a really, like, the largest agricultural fair um, in, the, in, in my uh, geographical region of my province uh, to vend photography, although I might put a little corner of my booth, because I'll have like a 10 by 10 booth, um, journal, so that might be cool. So I'm going to, I know I said I'd do the same colors, well they're going to kind of be the same-ish colors. So I'm going to put turquoise, since I like the turquoise. And I'm going to do a couple spots of dark blue. Not many. So yeah, lots of uh, projects. I got a studio space in Montreal, which is the big city about two hours from where I live. And uh, I have lots of stuff to do. It's just trying to find the time. And more importantly, the energy. See like how it kind of keeps... Sometimes the uh, ooh, muddy, puddly. I'm making a mess. <laughs> You definitely need to drop cloth underneath. <laughs> but, I like it. And before, like, it dries, you can, like, say this... Oh my! It's too dark. I got a huge puddle. <laughs> you can incorporate more colors. I wouldn't recommend putting as much as I just did, but so in some areas I scraped hard and it's really funny like the way the ink is is like really um I guess it has like the ink has a lot of textures so you can really see some letters but you can't really make out full words which is what I like it like about it. I'm gonna hit that with the dryer and I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Okay. I'm going to do some dilution spray. Um, I think I'll do the green. These ones I mixed paint, glue, and um, shimmer. And uh, I mistakenly used one of my old gloppy paints in them. So it, sometimes it comes out in... Uh, oh, and ink. I also put ink because I find it was I found it wasn't uh, intense enough. So you could even like swish and swirl them around. So they're really vibrant and intense when you put them on, and they kind of mellow out once they dry. Very cool. <laughs> you want to see the progress of some of the? There's another one I worked on. That one. <laughs> That one's still drying. <laughs> it's still wet. Two birds, one stone. Haha. -ha. Alrighty, what do I want to do? I don't think I'm going to do this. And 
Hi, my energy is flagging big time. I'm gonna do, hang on, I'm doing a little bit of orange, a little bit of red. going to give like a lava effect. We shall see. I don't know if I want to... So sometimes I'll dab once one way, turn it around, dab it again so it really mixes up the colors. You can be as precise or not as you want. And yeah, like the sky's the limit. You could uh, you could collage things onto these too if you wanted between layers of paint. That would be cool. You could use uh, texture mediums to give like like more texture. You can stamp um, sprays, nut sprays. You could keep you can, you can do more than two layers. Uh, you can do multi layers of stenciling. Uh, you can use different kinds of paper. Uh, it, it's, sky is the limit. And yeah, it's really relaxing. It's arting without a purpose, which is what I find relaxing. I'm not stressed about making mistakes. I can let the happy accidents happen. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to. Uh, muddy it up a bit, especially the edges, make it look a little bit more cohesive. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Very mildly shimmery. Ooh, okay, I'll put. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing, but uh, in the vein of the stripiness, I'm just gonna. Oh, these stars are all bunched together. Don't bunch together. So yeah, and like after this, like you can make journal cards. You can make ATCs, which are artist trading cards. You can make inchies or twinchies. You can make a whole whack of these out of all your junk mail and make a junk journal out of it. Um, you can stamp on them. You can make embellishments. So it's it's like it's a building your stash kind of thing. Yeah, I went overboard. <laughs> I'm only gonna do a little bit. This whole page. So yeah, I, I hope you liked the video. Um, I'm going to cut it short here because I still have to edit it and I, my energy is flagging. But I showed you guys what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dry it off camera or just let it dry on the table. Uh, so I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know if you want more random tutorials of the random things that I do. Um, I hope you have fun making these. If you're in Sugar's Candies, I love seeing it. Uh, when you make stuff inspired last from my mad science when uh, Lynn, I believe it was Lynn, um, made some, um, she took the idea of like a delicious, like I made like a sepia one. Let me show you. Like, I don't know if you can see here, it's like, it, it, it's just sepia, but a shimmery sepia. So I used sepia ink that I had and put a heck of a lot of bronze eyeshadow in, um, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of aging, but she took co instant coffee, a little bit of hot water, enough to dissolve the coffee, alcohol, and the glue uh, to make an aging spray. 
So super, super awesome. Maybe I'll do that with some, uh, next time I tea stain papers, uh, some of the leftover water, um, I'll mix half and half with some alcohol. The alcohol, by the way, I learned was to keep it from going moldy. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so yeah, so she made it and shared it on the page, and super cool seeing, uh, we all kind of inspire each other. So somebody will, like, watch a video and share what they made with the video and often share the video and then we all kind of trickle off and, and, and do our own versions and share them on the group. So I'll put a look, link in the description for Sugar's Candies. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry for being like so spacey and tired and, and like no updates. Um, and it's, it's going to be a long month. So bear with me. I'm not abandoning the channel. Just don't have time to art. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I really appreciate everybody, and I really love uh, all your interactions in the group or on the channel. And uh, yeah, you make this all worth it. So thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.